wind turbines, smartphones, drones, electric cars, and even missiles, all relying on rare earth elements. They're vital for the global economy and the green transition, but as demand rises, resources are fast depleting. Mining them is not only expensive, it's highly polluting, and only 1% are currently recycled. Outside Paris, this company collects all kinds of waste, including electronic appliances. Some are brand new. We truly live in a consumer society. Waste is sorted and sent for recycling. From cardboard to gold, nothing goes to waste, except rare earth elements. They're in smartphones, computer screens, and you can also find them in motherboards and in memory chips. The company says the highly coveted minerals trapped in these appliances don't have a buyer. Extracting them from smartphones isn't financially viable. Recovering a small amount of rare earth elements from equipment like this is very complex and expensive. There's an interest in doing it, but the cost of recycling is too high. But perhaps not for long, as Europe and the US race to break China's stranglehold over the precious minerals. More than 60% of the world's rare earth elements are mined in China. This French-American chemist based in Zurich says we're sitting on a pile of unexploited minerals. These light bulbs are extremely rich in rare earth elements, including one called europium, known for its luminescent properties. When you shine a UV light on the bulbs, they get a reddish pink hue. This bin right here is a treasure trove of rare earths. Each bulb contains up to 20 times more europium than natural minerals. Made with mercury, they're labeled as toxic waste and destined to be landfilled. It's a huge waste of resources. Europium, scandium, or yttrium, a group of 17 metals with unique magnetic, optical, and electronic properties. They're actually abundant throughout the Earth's crust, only highly dispersed in low concentrations and blended together, making them difficult to mine and separate. Producing one ton of rare earths generates at least 2,000 tons of toxic waste, including radioactive material. At just 28 years old, Marie Perrin has made a major breakthrough in efforts to recycle rare earth elements without any toxic waste. The young scientist had no intention of extracting the crucial minerals, but made the unexpected discovery while trying to make fertilizers in her lab using sulfur. This was quite counterintuitive from a chemist's point of view, because rare earth elements don't necessarily interact with sulfur molecules. But we realized that they do interact, and that sulfur can break rare earth elements apart. A light bulb is just a glass tube with phosphor powder, and this white powder contains rare earth elements like europium. Now this liquid is our extracting solution made with metal and sulfur. We're going to add a mix of rare earth elements, which are commonly found in light bulbs. One rare earth element will crystallize and turn solid, while the other remains trapped in the liquid solution. An almost instant chemical reaction. You can see the separation quite clearly. Commonly used in the petrochemical industry, sulfur molecules had never been applied to rare earth elements until now. We can achieve 90% purity of rare earth oxide in a single step, compared to thousands of steps using industrial products currently on the market. The entire process could be achieved in a single container, she says, installed within the premises of manufacturing and recycling companies. Radical break with current practices, which remain slow 
energy-intensive and highly polluting 